Uh, today we're gonna be <coughs> working on this on this lead code question number six C is exact conversion so basically if we have been given this uh, string PayPal is hiring and the number of rows are three or four the way we're gonna be doing it is like <coughs> we're gonna be taking the string putting the first character into the first row then keep going down and then once we hit the <coughs> total number of rows we're gonna change the direction of uh, the way we are putting our characters and by doing that we're gonna keep coming in the opposite way so it's gonna be a zigzag and at the end uh, we're gonna join uh, these rows and that's gonna uh, and return the result uh, looking at different solutions here so yeah basically after uh, taking care of the base cases which is that uh, the <coughs> strings length uh, if it is greater than if it is less than number of rows or the number of rows are less than two uh, that would mean that we don't need we don't we don't really need any kind of uh, uh, we don't need to do anything so that would mean that we can just return the, uh, the string as it, as it is. So let's program the base cases here first. So yeah. Uh, yeah if like initially if we, we want to check that the number of rows are is less than two or if the the, the, the length of the string is uh, less than the total number of rows that means we can just return the string as it is if that is not the case basically we need a variable to tell us what is the value of our current row so first of all we're gonna have bunch of rows the number of row total number of rows are gonna be equal to uh, number num rows and initially we're gonna fill them like uh, we're gonna these are gonna be empty so once that is empty uh, we're gonna we need some variables uh, to tell us the current like the current uh, row and the direction like are we filling from top to bottom or from bottom to up so we can iterate through the string so once we iterate through the string it's gonna be uh, so yeah So we're gonna keep putting every character into the current like into different uh, rows then we're gonna based on the direction either we're gonna decrement the the count uh, which is uh, representing the current row and then in at the end we want to figure out if we need to reverse the if we need to change the direction of the of our flow uh, represented by reverse so if count is equal to zero or if the count is like equal to the to the last row we need to reverse the direction that is good and in the end what we have to do is to we have to join all the rows right yeah so now we got all the rows in place so all we have to return is uh, we're gonna return rows dot uh, join so yeah let's try that yep now submitted Yep.
Yeah, and that works. <laughs>